in this third we're going to create so we can simply control that we that we can only run our program at one instance um you can compare it to steam everybody should know what steam is but um if you're trying to run steam when it's already running it will say can run steam more than once that's what we're going to create something to control that okay but we can or I'll just start off by showing how it actually works. Um, if just this program, it's it's nothing. It's just um, the console typing stuff. So if I press run, it'll say running, and um, you can see over here the stop button is still um, red, so it's still running in the background, and it's actually just an an infinitive loop of nothing. So while this is running and I press the run button again it'll um, give an exception that I created called um, where it'll say only one instance of this program can be run at a time so if I go back to the other program uh, here we can see that it's still running so now I'm going to terminate it now it's closed so now that when I press the run button it's running again and if I press it one more time you'll get the exception if I press it again, we will still get the exception. It's a kind of little neat feature if you made some a, a cool program game or another thing where you want to control that the player, user, or whatever only need to be able to um, run the program um, once at a time. So, just like how it works when it's running. Show when it's running. This is the directory where this program is. When I run it, it'll create this Valentine source dot lock, just a file that I named it, so that when you run it again, it finds this uh, file and um, can't really kind of it already exists um, and it can't remove it, so it'll throw an exception. And yes, you can't remove it because it's using a file lock to lock the file, so we can't delete it because it's already in use. So yeah, that's what we are going to be making. See you in a little bit. Okay, so let's get started. I've just made a little class called Single Instance in a new project, and um, we can start off by adding the main function. So now we have this we we'll need to create three static um, variables. One called public static file and that'll just be f or something like that. Then we need public static file channel. Whoa. And for the last one, we will say public static file lock. And just call it lock. And um, a neat little shortcut for fast importing stuff. You can press Control Shift and then um, L. No, oh God damn it! I forget things when I'm recording. Control. Yeah, Control Shift and then the O button. And then I'll just import them. If you like the file, there's more classes called file, then it'll pop up like this and ask which one. But yeah, you get that. And we'll start with creating a static function called public static void unlock. And um, in this function, we'll need a try catch. It has an IO exception. Oops, just need this one. And then just say print stack trace if anything happens. We also need to import that one. Oh no, because we haven't put anything in between try catch yet. But yeah, say if lock not equals null, then lock.release channel dot close and file dot or f dot delete. Let's go 
Let's remove all this space. Make some more space. And I'm going to start off by creating a try catch here too. It's just going to say IO exception. And then it'll just throw new runtime exception. And in between here, we're just going to say couldn't, could not start process. God damn it, process. Too many s's. And then just write ex so we get the exception. Okay. Make some space in here. Then say f that equals new file. And then in between the parentheses, you just call whatever you want to call the log file. I called it Valentine source dot log. You can also call it key dot log if you want to, or just key, or yeah, you decide. I'm just going to call it key now. Then make an if statement and say if file if dot exists. Just going to say f dot delete. And then say channel equals new random access file. And then say f and, in and comma and then um, rw. And then say get channel. Need to import this one. Then under it say lock equals channel dot try lock. So if lock equals null then say channel dot close and then um, throw new runtime exception. And in here you're going to say only one instance of this program can be run at a time. So it's actually here it's going to just kill the program. I don't know if you can actually write under it. No, we can't. Yeah, you get the point. Then we need to um, add the function here to when we're going to close the program or when the program is actually closed we need to ensure that this function is run before and that we can do um, through the runtime so first we need to create the thread just call it shutdown equals new thread and in between the parentheses say new uh, runnable and then just make some brackets and in between the brackets I'm just going to I'm, I use annotations so I'm just going to write overwrite and then public run void run and in here I'm just going to say unlock so now it's going to run the unlock method or just create a thread that's going to the uh, run the unlock method when it's going to be run. So now we need to say runtime dot get runtime dot add shutdown hook and then just say shutdown. So now we're actually adding the shutdown method to when the program is getting shut down. You get it. Then just do whatever voodoo we're going to do in the program. I just made it so it says um, running and then make an infinity infinity loop. So now I want to run it. Now it's running. Now I'm trying to run it again and it will return the um, only one instance of this program can be run. You can always also change it to uh, you can say uh, an an option uh, J. It's called 
Java option nine no Java J option pane yeah J option pane um and display the message and then just say system dot exit yeah you get the point this is just the simple version so yeah it's pretty neat feature and also really easy to make and it shouldn't be hard to understand the file ensures that we create the, the file you can see here we have a file called key um, and the channel ensures that we can like write to the channel and uh, the lock ensures that we can lock the file so we can't delete it uh, manually and um, if thread is for the shutdown and runtime that get runtime dot add shutdown hook it's just the you add the threads that you need to process when the program is getting shut down but yeah but that's I don't really have any more for this so but peace comment rate whatever you think this is worth and um, if you like these tutorials and my stuff then subscribe See ya later.